Audio Jungle. Hi students, how are you? I hope you're doing well and I hope the rest of the week you will enjoy. Remember this video will cover Thursday the 14th. On May the 15th we won't have class because it's Teacher's Day. Hooray! <laughs> so, uh, for this class we're going to do the following. Um, this is the activity I had planned for uh, this lesson. You're going to write a dialogue with a member of your family from Exercise 8, Students Book, page 63, which I have right here with me. This is 63. Mm -hmm. It's where you have a map, a world map. And the exercise is number eight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to do such activity, you require to use both will and going to. So, uh, you're going to choose three places. Um, let's say New York, uh, Paris, and Mexico City. You are going to... Um, write some sentences with will or going to why you want to visit them mm -hmm. and use the adjectives from exercise 4 which are atmospheric beautiful boring busy cheap disappointing expensive mm -hmm. historic which has to do with history impressive wow uh -huh peaceful or calm, remote, far, romantic, spectacular, and touristy, okay, with uh, plenty of tourists. So, I want to share some information about Will and Going too. Over here you can find uh, this website which I find incredibly useful for you, especially teenagers, which is British Council Learn English Teens. Teens is uh, a website that is specific, specifically addressed to you, teenagers. When do we use will or going to? In the future, we often use going to uh -huh, and also will. Mm -hmm. But it depends. So, for example, um, Oliver will be back soon. We won't be ready. Do you think it'll rain this afternoon? Um, we use will, yeah, when we are um, talking at a specific time and we immediately use it. So at the moment of speaking, for example, someone knocks on your door and you say, I'll get it. If we scroll down, mm -hmm, uh, we will find some more details. Before the moment of speaking, we use uh, the going to or the present continuous, but just um, ignore the present continuous for a second and focus on the going to. So, we are going to watch a film. That decision was um, taken before the moment of speaking. You had previously decided to watch a film. So what's the difference? Mm -hmm. We use going to 
for intentions. For example, Amy is going to come round. Amy has the intention to come. Um, moreover, mm -hmm. going to. We use it for predictions. So you're going to spill a coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at your your cup and you're going to spill it. Um, what else? So, in your notebook, you're going to write uh, sentences with will and going to about 